Hi, so the last time I filmed any kind of makeup video, um, my head was apparently cut off, so hopefully that's not the same. And this is the first time I've actually done all my makeup from the Dollar Tree. Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming on my channel, Your Canadian Blind Girl. Stay tuned to see what I have for you today. I have used like maybe an odd, you know, nail polish or an odd eyeliner from the Dollar Tree or whatever, but I decided to try doing full face makeup with the Dollar Tree. I don't know how it's going to look, but uh, you guys tell me if it's any good because I cannot afford makeup from Sephora and all those wonderful places that match my skin tone perfectly. <laughs> my, friend, my friend Emily and I did this and it was quite fun and I'm so glad the worker was there in the aisle when we were there because I didn't even know if Dollar Tree actually had everything I needed for a full face. It only came to a grand total of $12.50. $12.50. Hopefully it turns out really well because buying makeup, so even if you're going to like, at least in my area and community, even going to like a cheap drugstore makeup, it's, it's at least $15, at least for just a foundation or a primer. So hopefully it works. And I did not get to feel each item because my friend was helping me. And so I don't know what all these are. So I have a new app on my phone, um, which I don't use a lot of apps on my phone. So we'll see how this works. So you're getting the genuine blind experience of doing this. And I'm not really going to be doing a YouTube or a makeup tutorial because I have done that before. If you're looking on how to do your blind makeup, I have step-by-step -step tutorials, but I have people who've asked me to redo them, so I might redo them. I'll leave the old ones up, but I'll redo them for people who have asked. All right, so I have all my makeup on here. Now hopefully this, <sighs> um, some of the stuff I've never even used before, to be honest. So I know that there's a concealer here, and you know different things that I'm not that experienced with and I am filming today I am finally filming the how to paint your nails blind video so let's get my app up and running might turn it up so you all can hear it quick help the BSB 333 spies mine I think this just read something I don't know So I don't know, do I just hold it up? Okay, I have this. I don't know what this is. I have a feeling this is the foundation or the pressed powder. Okay. Pressed. Pressed. CBPP beige. Pressed. Pressed powder. Powder compact. Lasting. Wear. Okay. So there we this this is the pressed powder foundation so they don't have liquid foundation or other kinds of foundation and for you those of you who know me you know I hate putting this on dry skin but I didn't get moisturizer at the Dollar Tree so I cannot put that on because I didn't get it at the Dollar Tree so we'll see how I do okay I have a feeling this is going to be a long rambling video until I learn how to do the fast forward feature in my editor which it's really hard editing as a blind person. I'm just gonna say it really, really is. So if I ever get a social media team that edits my videos for me, I'm gonna be so excited. I'll never get that big. Um, so anyways, uh, so it feels, if I scratch the inside with my nail, it feels like there's a mirror in here, I think. Cause it feels like like it feels like there's something because I've had them without a mirror and you don't have that it's all smooth like there's no lip so I I think this is a mirror I don't know so and it comes like this really thin <laughs> like oh my goodness and so I cannot use my makeup brushes I like using a makeup brush so okay we're gonna give it a try cross your fingers everybody we're gonna see how this goes and anyone who knows me and knows my skin type knows that I hate doing stuff like this because my skin is dry and my makeup will look incredibly flaky. So we will see. We will see. I don't know. And it's probably going to look way too dark. I, I have a feeling it's going to look 
way too dark. Because even when I go to Sephora, I am the lightest shade. And I don't shop there. I haven't gotten makeup there for two or three years. But I am the lightest shade every time I go to Sephora. So, oops. Let me see. Turn this on. I don't think it's filming. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I stand up because like I can't see it. Habits. So anyways. So I'm putting the pressed powder on. Now I do know that if you have a T-zone and you keep pressed powder with you and you put it on like the oily T-zone, apparently that really helps to get rid of that like, I don't know what you would call it. And I just remembered, I think I have lipstick left on. So I'm going to have to take that off. So. Anyways, I don't know. I don't know. And I think I got everywhere. See, I'm so out of my routine that I don't know if I'm getting everywhere. Okay, foundation is done. Alright, so I had foundation. I think the next thing that goes on is highlight and contour. Right? Yeah. I'm so out of my routine. Alright, so. What is this? Mascara, very black, very black. CBMS 460, very black. Mascara, lash building. Mascara, mascara, mascara. Extend. Okay, so we have see. mascara. CCF, powder and brush AR, ESA, Pinso, powder, brush A. Spice. Click R. What is it? L. A. Colosat. Soft. Silky texture highlights cheeks. Highlights cheeks. Okay, so this is either my highlighter or my blush. I don't know. And this, well this feels like eyeshadow. I'm not sure. Three color. Three color what? Well, three colors would be eyeshadow, okay, so it's not that. Powder to contour. Contour. Okay, so there's my contour. I always put highlighter on first. This feels like lip gloss or concealer. Conceal. And yeah. correct. Okay. Cannot correction. Go. A claw. A click. <laughs> this is the last thing on the on the. Carry post up. A click. High legit fee. A click. I like to see. Okay, so I have a feeling that this is actually the highlighter, and it makes me laugh because it was the last thing on the table. Alright, so my highlighter goes on next. I am not good at highlighting and contouring. Like, um, my friends seem to think I am, and I wonder if some of these cameras that I use, if they just have an automatic filter that makes you look better than I do in real life. I don't know. Okay, so. Look at all this packaging. Okay, so highlighter. It doesn't come with an applicator, so I have to use my fingers. Okay. I just like did this like as if I was looking. I don't know. I have weird habits. Okay, so is this Oh wait, I think you put concealer on before you put highlighter. Someone help me. <laughs> I need a makeup helper. I don't know how to do my makeup. Watch, I'm going to be in the next Makeup Artist Reveals to Idiot Makeup Artist. <laughs> except, except they won't refer to me as a makeup artist, they're just going to refer to me as an idiot. I can't remember which one is my concealer and which one's my lipstick. They both, I think they both do the same. Concel and correct. Clarity. L-O-S-S-L. C-O slash L. Clarity. Lip. Lip. Clarity. Okay, not that one. Carrie Posa. Conceal and, and correct. Okay, correct. Okay. So, this one is my concealer. And from what I understand, I think you put concealer on your cheeks just under your eyes. I've never used concealer before. So, I did know though, because there was a, a pink 
purple and a green. I did know because I'm uh, kind of have red hair, red hair-ish. It changes colors. It goes from strawberry blonde to red. I don't know why, because I'm weird. Um, I did know because I have that complexion and because I have, uh, I get the butterfly rash from my lupus, so I know that because I have those red pigments, I should have a green concealer, I think. I don't know. Does concealer actually go on under your pressed powder? I have a funny feeling it does, and I have a feeling I'm going to look like some kind of troll or gremlin or witch or something. I don't know. Okay. So, concealer goes on your eyes, right? Someone please help me out in the comments below. Because I don't do concealer. Okay, so... I think I'm doing it right. No idea. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Okay, so I only put it under my eyes because I don't know where you're supposed to put concealer. Someone help me. All right, now my highlighter. And I'm just wiping my hands off on my skirt because I didn't take this video out. <laughs> I'm so unprofessional. And we wonder why I'm dwindling at 130 subscribers. Which by the way, I am really excited because I got 50 subscribers in one month. I thought that was really cool. There's probably people that you're supposed to, like, I don't know, do better at it. I don't know. Okay, so, I know you put highlighter on your nose, and, like, right here you do, like, a fan on your forehead, and a little bit on your jawline at your chin, I think. I don't know. And above your Cupid's brow. Okay, you guys need to watch my last video, or like one of my videos. And I did letting the person in front of me decide what I ate with my dad. Okay, and I don't know, like my dad was on PC. I tried to edit out as much as I could. And then some of it, because it was such a tight clip, I couldn't edit it out. So I had to download an air horn sound from YouTube free music stuff. And um, yeah, I had to edit that out. So this is my contour. Because uh, as I was feeling through, I sorted it out so that I wouldn't have to keep checking. Um, so this is my contour. Now this is the trick, okay? My contour and my highlighter are both in the exact same packages. So in moving forward, I would need to have some kind of marker on one of them to know them apart. So I'm really cheap and I probably would just crazy glued a bead or something on it because it doesn't matter if it looks really good or not. Alright, so I'm putting my contour on and I know you do go down the, the edge of your nose. I'm trying to put it on really light so that I have a natural look because I do have the feeling that this stuff might be too dark for my skin. My contour. Now, I have a really cool trick if you're not used to doing contour for the first time. I use masking tape, actually, and I did that probably for the first year until I got used to the neck of feeling my uh, face. And the trick I have is on my one side because I have Bell's palsy, I never got the feeling back on that one side of my face. And so when I'm trying to do it, I sometimes mess up. Um, but I'm pretty good at memorizing where my face is. I know that sounds really weird, but all right. And in one of my videos, I don't know, I may have put it up before this one or I may put it up after this one, I don't know. Because I film a lot of my videos in one day um, because sometimes I run out of energy during the week and I get so busy. I have a lot of health issues that just really get in my way sometimes. And um, with my schedule right now as it is, it's it's just tough. It's just tough. So, anyways, um, but I'm going to be talking about how, I, like, I'm in a blind-sided relationship. So I'm blind, and my fiance is fully sighted. Which I took the ring off to. Uh, I was doing something with water and uh, soap and stuff, and so I didn't want it to get to like damage it in any way whatsoever. Like I'm very paranoid about my ring and I forgot to put it back on. <gasps> I feel bad now. I feel bad. 
All right, so now this is the trick because what's next? It feels like my eyeliner, my lipstick, my blush, and my eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm gonna do the blush, get the cheeks out of the way. Packages. <laughs> And while I'm playing with this, I really want to know with you guys, like what is something you guys want to see? What do you guys want? Because it's my fans who I'm trying to reach. I'm not always trying to reach new followers. Um, because new followers, like sometimes they stick with you, sometimes they don't. You know, but it's my fans who stick with me. The ones who are always being encouraging on my videos. The ones who are always being like kind and sweet and you know encouraging me and supporting me you know get this tiny little brush my face is so huge okay so for my visually impaired followers it's it's literally like the size of my pinky i'm not i'm not joking it's the size of my pinky just this, this little makeup brush for my blush okay so the trick is to try and put it on without being too heavy okay so i do one two three and I don't know how it comes off, so I tap the bottom like on my table, and then I blow it. So hopefully it gets off any extra so it doesn't go on really dark. My sister's home and she's always super good at giving her opinion about my makeup, so we'll see what she says. Let's see. Okay, so one, two, three. Although I'm pretty sure that my that my concealer was supposed to go on before my foundation. I think, because I think you put primer and then concealer and then foundation and then some people, I know some people even do a press power powder after the foundation. I never understood that, but maybe it has to do with skin types. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a makeup guru. I wish I was, because then I would look good all the time. All right. And so I have to go ask my sister where the colors are because I know that it was three colors going from darker to lighter and I have to know what order they are when you open the case so that I can memorize like which side goes to which way because that just helps me memorize and remember all the stuff I got from the Dollar Tree so if there's a product that you're like wow that looks really good I got it from the Dollar Tree now if there's a product that you hate remember I got it from the Dollar Tree so okay so I just asked my sister and the palette goes from uh, left to right, dark, medium, and light, and so I always put a light base over my whole, oh good, it comes with an applicator. I got eyeshadow one time somewhere, and it actually didn't come with an applicator, and I was just like at a loss, because I'm like, isn't there like an unwritten rule that eyeshadow comes with some kind of applicator? Anyways, so, um, I cover the whole base, okay, yeah, I stuck it in the right one, I think. <gasps> Okay, so I cover the whole base of my eye with the lightest color because my eyes are on their own are really, really tiny and I hate applying eyeshadow with these kind of applicators because I like, I like eyeshadow brushes. I'm, I'm spoiled. I like eyeshadow brushes. And here's a cool trick for you. Um, when you're applying it, you can, you can tell if you're accidentally applying with the the naked side of your applicator or the fresh side because the side with makeup on it is going to feel kind of like cooler and it is going to feel like it's coated with something. And you can even, like I always try and always use one side of the applicator all the time. So I wipe it off after I'm done using it. That way I can just, like, I can feel, I don't know why, maybe it's in, I don't know, maybe I have like a compulsive thing, I don't know. I have certain patterns that I just, I just follow for no reason whatsoever. I always tell people it's, I'm, I'm just weird, so I do weird things, so, yeah. But in one of my upcoming videos, I'm going to talk about my blind sight relationship and how I feel as a blind person in a relationship with a sighted person because there are differences, that is for sure, and um, I have been kind of like never in serious relationships where I was going to get married or anything like that. But I have been, you know, where I was kind of dating other people and stuff like that before, and that was when I had my sight. 
and it's a totally different experience when you've had Satan lost it and are dating. And the reason, okay, I had someone who was angry about, and now I'm doing the medium on the inner corner. I don't know why I'm telling you that, like it's a tutorial, because it really isn't. Um, I had somebody, they were complaining about me always saying, um, you know, uh, I had Satan lost it. And they're like, why do you keep saying that? Well, because my experience is going to be different from somebody who was born with their eyesight the way it is. So I'm just letting that out there because uh, when I talk to people who they've never had sight, they will say to me, oh yeah, my experience is different. And so I'm like, oh, okay. So I just, I just go with that. And then my darkest one on the outside corner, again, I don't know why I'm saying that because like, I, I don't know. It's not really a tutorial. So it's either going to look really good or really, really bad. So we will see. I just find that with makeup. It, it looks either really good or really bad. There's no in between. Like when I had sight. Because I never, I. Like, someone's makeup that's in between, you just don't notice it. You're just like, eh, you don't even notice it. Alright, so next I do have a lipstick duel, but I forgot and left my makeup on, my lipstick on. So I will go take that off. Hey, I am back. I tried to take my lipstick off as best as I could. So, I might still have color on my lips, but I tried to get as much of it off as I could. Um... I should have opened all these packages before. I wanted to film at the Dollar Tree and then we were halfway to town. <laughs> I live about half an hour from town, so <laughs> like I live kind of like in a like a mini town that there's not much in here. And if you watch my crying video, um, I think it's called Blind Feelings Crying or Crying Blind Feelings or something. And like I live in a small town. Anyways. Uh, we were halfway, now this is a dual, so one end is a lipstick and one end is a lip gloss. Um, obviously that ends the lipstick because the lid came right off. Okay. The quietest I will ever be in my life is when I'm applying lipstick. <laughs> oh! That's so weird. It has like this nostalgic kids toy store smell like from when I was little. Bet you it's lead. <laughs> I bet you it's lead that I smell because there used to be lead paint on kids toys. I bet you that <laughs> that's what I'm smelling. <laughs> I'm like oh yeah. Uh, and I continue to put it and we wonder why I'm blind. Okay so. Whenever I put lipstick on, I feel like I'm drooling. Alright, I don't know how well I did with that. Alright, and then the lip gloss. I am not, I, I didn't grow up with lip gloss, so let's see how I do. What is the purpose of lip gloss? Can anyone tell me in the comments below? Like, what does lip gloss actually look for me other than I was drinking water and don't know how to wipe my mouth? Like. <laughs> I totally messed my mouth. I don't know how to do this. Like, okay, so it should feel just like a lipstick, right? Okay, I keep hitting the same spot on my on my lip, so obviously I'm doing this wrong. Okay, this smells like bubble gum. Okay, ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, I just realized because I've never done it, I'm not very good at this, and it doesn't feel like there's actually any on there. Maybe I didn't. I did it wrong. Alright, so it turns out I'm not very good at putting on lip gloss. Now I know if you put lip gloss over top of lipstick, you're not supposed to rub it, I think. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Story of my life, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh. I used to have this saying. This is the last time I'll say it, I promise, because I've had someone very important to me ask me to stop saying this about myself. But I would make really bad decisions that honestly seemed like they were a good idea at the time. And it actually turns out that I just 
my problem solving part of my brain just doesn't, it, it can't look at that problem and go, that's not a good idea, don't do that. So, because that's why my parents worry about me. <laughs> Alright, so, alright. I feel like it's all over my face and it feels like wet glue. I don't think I like it. Yeah, I don't think I like it. My first real experience wearing lip gloss. Like it just it just feels like it's gonna like fall on my fall down my face or something. Alright, so eyeliner and mascara is next. So I can tell by the feel this is mascara, this is eyeliner. And if you're a sighted follower, write down in the comments below if you're sighted or visually impaired. Um, I would love to find that out. And you know what? Write down what country you're actually watching from. Because on YouTube, it tells me what major areas are actually watching my videos. And so the biggest one that's in the ranking right now is Canada, closely followed by U the US, and then followed by Indonesia and then the Philippines. So it's going to be interesting um, seeing what all, where all these videos all come from. So um, when I was actually picking up this makeup from the Dollar Tree, there was eyeliner, pencil, and eyeliner liquid. And so my friend said, oh, probably pencil is easier for you. And I said, actually, the, eye, the liquid eyeliner is a little bit easier for me to manage. And she's like, really? And I'm like, yeah. And so a way I find it, so if you watch my tutorials, when I put makeup on and I'm going really slow because I want a really perfect look, I will use like my masking tape or dental floss or credit cards uh, to get that really good line. But if I'm in a hurry and I don't really care how it looks, um, I do put it on. Now it takes me, I think it probably takes me a little bit longer, so in the end I'm not saving any time. But I always angle my brush so I'm not like right up against my eye. I angle it and I, sl I feel where my eyelashes are. I won't talk while I do it, but I feel where my eyelashes are. And as soon as I feel the eyelashes, I follow it up to like the root of the eyelash where, where my eyeliner goes and then I just go along there so yeah and remember all this takes practice you can't just one day wake up and be like oh I'm gonna learn to do my makeup blind it just it just doesn't work that way you have to slowly practice and practice does not make perfect practice makes permanent perfect practice makes perfect so you do when you're first learning you do want to do everything super slow super careful and make sure you're doing it the way you want it to look and then the more you do that, the easier and faster you get it. Okay, so let's see how this is. It's harder on the inside corner of my eye because the eyelashes are thinner there. So it goes down onto my second um, like my bottom lid. I usually do not put eyeliner on my bottom lid. Or mascara. I just don't. Okay, so I feel like I have a lot on my eyelashes. So I usually just wipe off my eyelashes. I can feel really goofy. Why didn't I bring a tissue out here? It's a black skirt. We're good. But I am a slob that way. I used to do that when I used to paint people's nails before I lost my sight. I would wipe off the extra on my skirt and like my family members would all be like, Ashley. I'd be like, yeah. Okay, so this one I always like I don't know, I think I rushed through it because I know that I can't really feel very well on the side at all. So all of this over here on this side is really more just memory work. I'm trying to remember that the eye shape on that side because I can't feel it. Alright, and then my mascara. Look how tiny this mascara is. It's so cute to try to show you my booty. I am so weird. Like, I can think of so many reasons why I should not have a YouTube channel. My poor parents. <laughs> oh. So 
So I got eyeliner on my eyelashes and it dried and formed a clump and a knot. So that's a downside for a Dollar Tree eyeliner because that means it goes on really thick and goopy and it probably smeared all over my eyelid. So hopefully this looks good. Alright, and the side. So I'm actually having a lot of changes coming up in my life and I'm trying to get into motivational speaking actually. So all of my, and I wanted to get started in churches first, only because that's the area I'm most experienced in. I grew up in church and like, I'm not choosing church first um, for religious reasons. I'm just more comfortable in that setting because that's the way I grew up. Um, so, all my church friends, you need to help me out with that. <laughs> Alright, so this is the finished look. So I will try and have a picture done of when I did makeup before that was using really, it was using discounted um, name brands that were on sale like at Walmart or something like that. Um, or this look and we'll see what you guys think looks better. I, I'm 100% sure that this probably does not match my skin tone. It's probably a little bit darker but it might actually look really nice because I know a lot of people comment sometimes. Um, I notice it more on Twitter. People comment about like my, my I look too white or whatever. Did a bug just fly in my mouth? Ew. Ew. I think a bug just flew in my mouth. Okay. Great way to end a video. Alright. So, um, makeup from the Dollar Tree. So, I will be filming the how to paint your fingernails blind today. And I hope you stick around for that. So, what do you guys think? Write in the comments down below what you think. The Dollar Tree makeup did okay or name brand did okay? You tell me. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Bye!